Alright, hello everyone, my name is Denzin Dan, and in this video I'll explain how trade routes work in Anno 1800. First, let's take a look at regular trade routes. These are used to transport goods between your islands using your own ships. First, select the ship that you want to use. Then click here to open the trade route menu. And then, in this screen, we can click on the islands that you want to include in the route. You can select more than two. Then click here to load the particular type of good that you want to load. You can load as many goods, types of goods as you have slots on your ships. And then click where you want to unload these goods. So for example, like so. You can also split these goods over multiple islands. Like so. Some general tips. Remember that you can also use regular trade routes to set up trades with AI players. Also, you can use these waypoints to indicate the route your ships should take. This can be handy to avoid enemies. You can also use this system to transfer goods between different areas such as the New World and the Old World. Just use these buttons here to switch between the regions. It will take most ships somewhere between four to six and a half minutes to travel between the new world and the old world, depending on their load and the position of the island on the map. Also remember that you can also use this route button down here to create these routes. So secondly, we have charter routes. And the main difference with regular trade routes is that with charter routes, you can hire an AI ship instead of using one of your own ships. So click this button right here, create route then go to charter routes select the goods that you want to load and select the islands and in this case you can only select one type of good and you can only select two islands not more than two and both of these islands have to belong to you so in short I would almost always advise to use your own ships as it will likely be cheaper in the long run and that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time